Since the net result of the reaction is the removal of carbon dioxide molecule in the form of the carbonate from the carboxylic acid. The reaction is commonly known as the decarboxylation. Note that the decarboxylation reaction involves the removal of one carbon atom, hence this reaction can be used for descending of series. The yield is good in case of lower members but poor for higher members. Next, by the electrolysis of a concentrated aqua solution of an alkali, that is sodium or potassium salts of a saturated monocarboxylic acid using platinum electrodes. The reaction is known as, the, or the method is known as coal-based electrolytic method. Alkanes are collected at anode. The reaction is CH3CONA, sodium state plus water, undergoes electrolysis, it gives CH3CH3 at anode, along with the liberation of carbon dioxide, sodium hydroxide, and hydrogen gas at cathode. Remember that. Methane cannot be prepared by this method. The resulting solution contains sodium hydroxide, hence it is alkaline, having the pH, which is greater than 7. Electrolysis of sodium formate at COONA gives only hydrogen and carbon dioxide. The unsymmetrical alkanes, that is alkanes having odd number of carbon atoms, cannot be prepared by Colby's electrolytic method. However, if a mixture of aqua solution of salts of two acids, for example, sodium acetate and sodium propionate is used, coal based electrolysis will give a mixture of alkenes. Mechanism Coal based electrolysis follows free radical mechanism. The reaction undergoes the breakage of C2H5CONA to C2H5COO minus plus Na plus at anode. The C2H5COO minus, it gives the radical C2H5COO radical plus two electrons. The two radicals C2H5COO, it gives C2H5 radical along with the liberation of carbon dioxide gas. The C2H5 radical, two radicals of C2H5, they combine together to form C2H5, C2H5 or to form the mixture of C2H6 plus C2H4. At cathode, the remaining sodium ion, it gains two electrons, which are eliminated at anode to give sodium. The sodium reacts with water to give sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Lower alkenes and alkenes, for example C2H6 and C2H4, along with esters are also obtained as side products like C2H5CO radical plus ethyl radical they combine together to give C2H5CO C2H5 but in a mild quantity next method by decomposing Grignard reagent with water or other compounds having active hydrogen Grignard reagent is then organometallic compound. The compounds having active hydrogens are water or primary amines. The reaction is RMGX, alkyl magnesium halide, reacts with water, it gives RH, alkane, along with the formation of MgOHX. In the same manner, ethyl magnesium iodide, reacts with amines. Secondly, I mean, it gives methane along with the formation of the organometallic compound IMGN C2H5 hold twice. This method gives quantitative yield of pure alkanes. Remember that it is the alkyl part of the Grignard reagent, that is RMGX, that appears in the product hydrocarbon. The mechanism Grignard reagent reacts as carbon ion which takes hydrogen ion from an acid that is water, NH3, ROH or RSH etc. to form alkane as the final product. This reaction is a type of brown sand lorry acid based reaction. The reaction is 
CF3, CF2, MGX, the terms of electrons, the alcohols, HOR, it gives the conjugate acid and conjugate base. Here, proton of the acid, ROH, makes the bond between CS3, CS2 and MGX to cleave. Hence, the reaction may be called protonolysis.